Overnight, reports of tornadoes tearing through parts of Nashville, leaving behind a twisted path of destruction with multiple fatalities. The deadly twister blocking roads, destroying cars, and downing utility poles. Plunging people into darkness, leaving more than 50,000 residents without power. Emergency crews assessing the damage after the tornado slammed the area that left some neighborhoods looking like war zones. Local schools reduced to rubble. Homes and businesses shredded by high winds. A home security camera capturing this funnel cloud. One resident at this apartment complex in the Germantown neighborhood says the twister caused complete chaos, scattering debris, causing the area to be evacuated. The powerful storm system moving through Nashville, crumbling this popular concert venue, destroying everything but this mural, which says, I believe in Nashville, leaving many here grateful to be alive. And this just in, the death toll now at six, a sixth death reported in Benton County, Tennessee. The mayor of Nashville talking about many injuries this morning as that city and area right now just trying to put the pieces together and console the victims. Savannah, Craig, back to you. All right, Sam Brock on our breaking news. Thank you. And meanwhile, Al is standing by with more on the damage in Tennessee and today's threat of severe weather. We've got some watches and warnings up right now, huh? We actually do. This is the timeline. Right around 1 a.m., you can see Nashville, just Mount Juliet. We're talking about nocturnal tornadoes that are two times more likely to be deadly. And in fact, Tennessee is the number one state for nighttime tornadoes. This is the live radar now, and we have tornado watches up until 11 o'clock central time down in Alabama. This line is going to be pushing to the east. We, right now, we've got 3 million people at risk for severe storms through tonight, and then tomorrow, we've got another big risk for 7 million people all along the Gulf, damaging winds, hail, tornadoes. This system pushes through today, heavy rain from Mexico into Texas, flood watches through the southeast, downpours tomorrow, elevated risk of flash flooding as this pushes on, and Thursday, it moves into the Atlantic. Atlantic coast. We've got a severe threat from Savannah to Tallahassee. We're going to be watching that rainfall through Thursday, flooding most likely stretching from Mississippi all the way into the southeast with rainfall amounts anywhere from two to three, locally five inches of rain.